Hey guys, wanted to give you a video update on my tank here. Uh, I've added quite a few fish, and I'm pretty much maxed, uh, not really maxed out, but I, I put the most fish that I'm going to put in here. Um, I suppose if I see something I really like, I could always add it, but uh, right now, this is what I would consider uh, the most bio load I want to have. Um, I don't even have a count of the fish, but it's probably... Probably under a dozen. Um, just a couple tangs, powder brown and a lavender tang. I think that's a flame hawk. He, he, <laughs> he got him by accident. Uh, I don't know if I showed this, but th that acropora in the middle there is actually a, a it's a rose gold acropora that I found at LFS, and that's been really cool. Um, I've been thinking about cranking up the Kessels to get some more growth, but we'll see. Um, those orange zoos there, those are a new addition that I picked up last weekend. Um, lots of new heads coming in on the Rasta zoos and the Vamp Killers, which I'm excited about, as well as a new head on the Cornbed Ra Rainbow Infusion Pally. Uh, right next to it, you can see there's a monopore. I know you can't see the color at all. It's lights. These lights are too blue right now, but it's a uh, It's kind of a pink with a translucent translucent blue and blue polyps. So that's pretty cool uh, good new growth on the leptoceras and acropores and uh, Let me know if you want me to keep doing these videos um, I have made some modifications to the system. Uh, I added an external overflow because I upgraded the pump to a Tunzi that's over a thousand gallons per hour, which uh, is kind of an eyesore and I'm not sure I want to keep it. But my the water the water level definitely gets high if I just run the standard overflow with the new pump so um, maybe I'll put that in back or, or figure something out because uh, I've actually already had people complain that uh, not, not only is it noisy but it's like it's an eyesore that's I've added a spray bar it's kind of a it, it was a pro just kind of a project it just cost me like five bucks so it wasn't a big investment, but I think it would be cool if it was, if it was all blacked out. Um, since I added the pump, I added an additional um, inflow to the tank. So I have that. I don't know if you could hear that, but that was actually the pistol shrimp snapping away back there. He's, he hides it right in between that crevice. Um, like I said, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like. If you want me to keep doing these videos, um, I've also been feeding um, my dragonette uh, cyclopods, arctopods, and row. Uh, I worry that they don't get en get enough to eat. Is my copepod uh, population right now doesn't seem to be the best. I'm not really sure why because I just added a bunch. It seems to kind of go in cycles. I have these huge spikes of copepods and then I won't see them for a while. Um, usually the glass is just covered with them, but that's not really the case right now. So hopefully they'll they'll come back strong. Um, I'm also worried about this sleeperhead goby that he doesn't get enough to eat since there's not a good copepod population right now, or you know, little reef bugs, amphipods, and copepods. So any feedback on that, um, I like. Or if you think uh, there's a, I, I, I've been considering adding uh, basically a little breeding tube for copepods that I can slowly release into the tank, like a little shelter for them, uh, which would basically be like a tube with a little nozzle on the bottom where they could, I'd let them breed, and I guess I would feed them phycopure, plant, you know, plankton to try and keep a more steady copepod population because right now I, I don't see them. Not, not that you always can, but usually on the glass you can 
you can see them. So, uh, any f feedback on that would be good. And uh, besides that, I have some new, I have a new order coming in from Jason Fox, pretty big order, uh, $600 order. So I'll, I'll try and remember to do an unboxing of that when that arrives and that'll be in a couple days. So thank you guys for watching the video and I will uh, hopefully have an update for you soon with that unboxing.